What's up, friends of friends, friends of YouTube, YouTube of friends? Today you have gathered here to watch me play a great game known as Battle Pillars. Let's do this. Uh, I've played a lot of this game before. It's really fun. I suggest that everyone that's watching this video should totally play it. And if you already do play it, give yourself a shout out down in the comment section below. Um, I'll go ahead and... No, I can't do that because I have everything upgraded and I really don't feel like restarting. So I won't do that. But I might do that. Maybe. Um, we'll see. We'll see. If this video gets... Get out of the way! Oh no! Oh my god. Oh my god. I just lost all of the apples. No! Mo Freaking Mobizen. Great recording app, but not good for this. Yeah. Oh, yes. At least I got that. I lost so many apples. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh my god, I got crap that time. So, I'm gonna, you know what? Hmm, I'll be right back. I am back, so I decided instead of playing, uh, Battle Pillars, we're gonna play some Plague. Plague Inc. This is a great game. You'll see what it's about, and if you don't know what it's about, I'll show you. It feels special. Just kidding. I show a lot of people stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, Bacteria on Normal. Go ahead and name it the Littler. Okay. No, not the Little, Littler. There's not enough room. Okay, we'll just we'll go with the little. Go ahead. We'll turn off all the genes. So oh, here it is. Hold on. I think I found it. Find it. Yeah, I found it. Do that. No. Nope. No. Nope. Do that. Start. There we go. Leading. Loading. <laughs> Fail. So sorry about the whole hype for battle pillars. No, I'm deciding on whether or not I should uh, restart on my battle pillars. Even though, like I said before, I'm really far at it. So, anyways, this game is like what you do is you make a virus, right? Or not necessarily a virus, but a disease. And you infect the entire world and you kill everyone in it. That is the game. That is the That is legitimately the entire game. I'm sure to most people it'll sound like a game where you, where pretty much only psychopaths play it and then plot about destroying and killing everyone in the world. But I promise you, I am not a psychopath. But maybe I am. <laughs> Anyways, anti-aging drug not expected this century, says HWHO, or WHO for short. New health guidelines for rich countries. Rich countries have adopted new health guidelines, which will make them less vulnerable to disease. You hear that? They're less vulnerable to us. Too bad. We're going to get them anyways. Because I am so good at this game. So, so, like, when you have DNA points, which you get from infecting people in countries, and, like, these bubbles will pop up, and then you have to pop the bubbles, and then you get points, right? Like that, see? I just got one point. What you do from there is you click on the disease tab, and then you can see this. You see, like, your the information on your disease, and then you see a little picture of it. Then you go to these, you can all upgrade, right? And each, each type of disease has its own special ability, but each disease has these three things, right? These three other abilities that help it infect people. But really, what you want to start upgrading at the beginning of a game is the trans transmission or transportation whatever you want to call it uh, I always do air and then water and then I max out air and then water and then you'll see what happens then 
But if you want, you can always do bird and then rodent and then insect or blood and livestock. And then you can always put two levels in these, put two levels in that. And then you should there should be like one middle level like right here. And then these two are separate. But, you know, it's all up to you. London Olympics mystery. Mystery still surrounds the decision to postpone the London Olympics. Organizers promise it will happen soon, but no reason has given for the change. And a really cool fact about this game is that it uses real time. Like, not really like real time, but it updates itself on like statistics and whatnot in the world. Like, right now it has, I'm not sure if it's the exact number of people living in the world right now, but it's probably somewhere around there. Like, somewhere 7 billions. That's all of an Iran. Cool. And if you see on the top right corner on the screen, you'll see like a little date chart. And the reason it's going by so fast is because I have a uh, super speed to speed up the process. And you see that it says 2016, which is this year, obviously. And then it has the months and the days going by, which I think is really cool. Go ahead. Bam. See, now there's a middle thing. Extreme by Russell. Pathogen bypasses air slash water filters due to adaptive cellular shell. Shell. Increase infectivity, especially in humid and arid climates and plane slash ship transmission. Meaning it's a much higher chance that whenever a plane or a ship goes into these infected countries, uh such as Saudi Arabia. It, there is pretty much a 100% chance of it coming out infected and then spreading that disease into the next country. Like Australia, so like from Saudi Arabia to Australia. Or that's just an example. And what you saw me ha just do earlier was the rash symptom mutated. And that's not a good thing. You don't want mutations yet. You don't want symptoms of your disease yet. Because then, if you get too many symptoms, then doctors can be like, oh, there's a cure for this. And then they'll start making the cure, and then they'll have a 100% cure everyone, and then you'll lose. Hence the whole infect everybody thing. So, whenever a system symptom mutates, what you want to do is you want to click on it, and then you want to press devolve. With most diseases, on like normal and casual difficulties, you will get, you will get, you will receive more DNA points. But on hardcore and brutal, you will lose DNA points. And with the virus, which is one of the disease types, I think you get it after the bacteria, you lose DNA points when you devolve it on normal. <sighs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to go ahead and update, not update, evolve my bacterial res resilience, which is... Creates a bacterial shell to protect against all climates, just getting stronger and stronger as each level progress. As I progress through each level, try. I still need to infect Greenland. Greenland is like the hardest place to affect, infect, and it's so annoying. I have Canada up. slowly but surely. I'm getting it. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some ice, right, like that. Okay, some drug resistance. Okay, this right here is. This is the most useful ability in the entire game. It's like, you want to use it when they're making the cure. And when it's at like 25%, you want to use the first one because there's like four uses of it. And it gets more expensive every time. Yes, I agree. <laughs> what it does is it lowers the cure percentage. So it, it like, no, I don't want cysts. It makes it so... Um, it's harder for them to make the cure because their percentages went down. And in fact, I actually clutched a game on Hardcore Brutal with the virus with the genetic reshuffle. It was at 99% and the genetic reshuffle and they got that like last point right there. And I won. Because I killed everything. Huge earthquake in Italy. Billions of dollars of damage caused in Italy. Uh, WHO expects it will take years to repair the damage caused for thousands of businesses, homes, and research facilities. That's a good thing, because now their, uh, what is it, research is probably going to slow down now, because their research facilities were damaged. Scientists increased understanding of inflammation. Scientists have had a breakthrough in their understanding of inflammation and will be able to cure diseases with them more easily. 
that's bad. So now if we get the inflammation symptom, which is, no, it's probably somewhere in cysts. Because, like, once you get this, it branches off into other symptoms. And when, uh, it's not only six symptoms, that would be ridiculous. But the fact that they have a better understanding of inflammation is not a good thing. Because now, once we get on their radar, which is, in other words, get symptoms, they will, it will make it much easier for them to cure us. See, when this pops up, there are no healthy people in the world. The last healthy person on the planet recently became infected with whatever your disease name is. You, pretty much, with all those DNA points that you just had... Go to symptoms, and then, bam. Go ahead, get total organ failure. That is the most useful one. And then save up for a coma. Now just watch the people die. New mind disease spreading. In a normal checkup, a doctor in Philippines found a new disease, which he has been named the little. It appears to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting this disease. So they know I exist. And the first step was in India. And this is where we'll end off this uh, episode, guys. And I hope you enjoyed. The next episode will be up shortly.